Hello and welcome back to the channel, and we're in Crusader Kings 3. A game I wasn't expecting really to do much with. Uh, I've always acknowledged that Crusader Kings 2 is probably the best Paradox game. I have, you know, I've had fun with it, I've put a bit of time into it, but it's just never really the golden game for me. I've put 2,000 hours into you, 400 hours into Solaris and Perita, and I've always preferred them to play, but I always really had good fun with CK2, but e even then, it was, I never expected to really cover CK3. Kind of wrote it off. Um, then I realised it was on Game Pass, and I thought, I'll, I'll give it a go. We'll see how it goes. And my god, am I enjoying the hell out of it. It's definitely got some shortcomings. There are a few things that I miss from Crusader Kings 2, but overall, it's awesome, and I'm really surprised by how much fun I'm having with it. So, without further ado, let's get into um, what I'm hoping is going to be a really long campaign in before I die and the game ends after my first character, which happens a bit. But now, nah, we're, we're uh, I I'm confident this can be a good long playthrough. We're going to start in 867. Of Count of Dorset, Earl Alfred, who you might know of him. We're gonna go on Iron Man. No, no, we're not gonna go on Iron Man because I'm actually running a few uh, mods, a bit of executions, some uh, graphical mods, uh, some more pop-up mods, just those kind of standard things. Um, since achievements are kind of bugged a bit when it's like starting as. And stuff, uh, unless you do them more and play the sit down. So I'm just gonna leave that as that. Uh, I think I'm just gonna leave all of the um, rules just a normal. I haven't. Um, I have got a mod downloaded for Aztec Invasion because I actually really like it. it. I know I'm probably in the minority of that, but it's you know I, I quite like having the uh, secondary threat because if you're playing over. This way on Western Europe, you don't really have to tangle the Mongols, and the uh, Aztec Invasion mod's actually very interesting. They've added a lot of stuff into it, so if you uh, end up s being subjugated by the Aztecs, there's a lot more interactions to do, and it's quite fun. But nah, I'm, I'm not using that, so that's for another another video. But uh, yeah, we're just going to leave this all on normal. So, this player is Earl Alfred. The Count of Dorset He's 18 years old, he's Anglo Saxon. And he's a Catholic. So, as the Vikings push further south, Earl Alfred of Dorset is ready in his troops. In the coming years, Alfred will fight numerous battles against the Norsemen and put an end to the invasion. When he inherits his brother's throne, he becomes one of the greatest English kings throughout history. Will you fulfill Alfred's great destiny or be crushed by the great heathen army? Now, I have done quite a lot of test games as uh, Alfred. I've really been enjoying it. It's either Jorvik or Alfred are my two go-to in a, this start date in this area, unless it's like playing Tuscany. Um, I've probably played about eight games, and I'd say it's been 50-50 on whether I get the inheritance or not of Wessex. So we'll see how it goes. But anyway, let's let's get into this. That was a, a three-minute introduction, well, nearly a four-minute introduction. Not bad. So, here we are. The Earl of Dorset, we've got an eight... So we are honest, we're just, we're gregarious, we're diligent, we're a brilliant strategist, we are reckless, but we're also intelligent. We've got a wife who's compassionate, generous, diligent, and a conscientious scribe. Perfect match. So you know what, to start off with, I'm just going to straight up seduce my wife. It always ends with pregnancy, we need to get some pregnancies going, we need to get some children. Now, the quicker my brother dies, the better, so I can inherit the kingdom. I'm not going to raise any armies at the start, I'm just going to wait a bit. Uh, we are going to go down the martial tree, and I'm going to full roleplay Alfred the Great, because for me, Alfred the Great, let's go the chivalry focus, and I'm going to go straight down the gallantry. I, <laughs> I know, like, getting the organized march for the extra movement speed is great, and the CB cost reduction... Uh, and then, you know, serve the crown for all this. I know this is all good, but I just want to go down this tree. I feel like it's just going to be so much fun. Really role-playing this uh, gallant, chivalrous character of a uh, British legend. English legend. 
So, um, I'm in line to inherit all these titles. Don't really think there's much more I can do. So we're just gonna we're just gonna pause and get right on into this. So we are in two wars at the start. We're at wars against the Isle. What the Isles and Jorvik, both the sons of Lothbrok. Empty council positions. Um, hmm. I'll recruit you to court. Yeah, we'll recruit you to court. And we'll assign you. We have got few knights, right. Letters. Before I do that, I will recruit you. Because you're a 15 prowess skill, that's quite nice. But we will invite some knights. I feel that is. should work out well. We've got another, fifth, another 15, let's recruit you. Because knights are great in this game. Knights are, in my opinion, they're a bit overpowered. Um, in fact, turns out the levies are more a hindrance, if anything, but yeah, we'll see how this goes. So, our first martial event, training a warhorse. As I inspect the stables, my gaze is drawn to a stallion kept away from all the others. He throws his head and stops his hooves, displaying his powerful hindquarters and well-arched neck. This creature has the best, <coughs> sorry about that, uh, best of com confirmations uh, and the worst of tempers. I have never seen such a war horse before, but the stable master insists that he is impossible to train. Oh, are we going to have an Alexander moment here? I not want to back away from the challenge. I might get a martial lifestyle perk. The horse might become your own steed. Such so a fine steed will fetch a hefty price. My stable master will learn a lot from taming him. Now, we're... we're that's the extra night effectiveness, 20%. That is awesome. But, I am not one to back away from a challenge. Alfred, the chivalrous. Come on, please tame the horse. So, training a war horse. The horse pins his ear back as I approach. His disregard for me crystal clear. The first meeting is important to earn his trust and respect, and I need to decide how to go about it. A steady hand is required to tame the beast. If I am gentle and move slowly, he will trust me. Everyone has their prize, bring forth the apples. Right, so. Prowess, diplomacy, intrigue. Diplomacy. I mean, my prowess and my diplomacy is both very well. And... Looking at this, I feel like, yeah, we'll, we'll, he would definitely go the diplomacy route. So if I'm gentle and move slowly, he will trust me. No matter what I try, the horse refuses... Ah, oh, balls. He refuses to listen. My attempts leave both him and me sweating and angry. And I leave the stables late in the evening. I know that I'm not coming back anytime soon. Ah. We didn't have an Alexander moment. That does not bode well. Anyway, we need a court physician. So, I'm just going to appoint my bishop. So, he, he likes me a bit more now. You haven't had any kids yet, have you? No. Right. Oh, Master of Words. As a scholar of the diplomatic arts, I am well aware of the power of, eloquent comp of an eloquent compliment. Showing an um, admiration <sighs> words uh, for a woman's best quality. It's a short path to her heart. The next time we meet, I shall compliment. Warm and gentle heart, brave and unfettered spirit, noble and loyal nature, spontaneity and vigor. Warm and gentle heart, because she's compassionate and she's generous. Yes, it's well received. Wonderful. Wonderful indeed. Let's just pump it over a bit more. An unworthy challenge. At first I thought the simple footman a fool for stepping onto the training field. Although Osrad, Os, 
Red. Osred seemed no threat at first. It quickly became clear that he would be unable to stop his wild, vicious strikes from hurting me. Disarming him suddenly became a matter of life and death. I tried not to show my relief when his sword finally hit the ground. I could use more people like you. He will join my court. Now to 18 press, 11 marshal, 18 diplomacy, wow, that's quite, mm. This peasant and my soldiers will get a lecture on honor. Ooh. I strike him down where he stands. Now, I could use more people like you. Yeah. It's definitely an Alfred thing to do. Being raided. Oh no, it's my liege is being raided. Come on. Die. Die, 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 die. You're feeling fine. You shouldn't be feeling fine. Ah, my wife is pregnant. Wonderful. Alright, if these come to me, I'm going to have to... Right, yeah, I'm going to have to raise my army. Oh, wait, no, we're already being raided by Jilland. Yeah, I can't do anything about that. I'm even there, they're gonna help me help them. I'm just gonna have to try. Yeah, of course they were gonna reinforce. Enter council, position my marshal. Oh, that's typical. How many knights did we lose? We lost one knight. Just let them raid me. Come on, when are you gonna die? Let's just disband the army. That was a mistake. Right, a reading and Warham. A reading! A wedding? A reading! Celebrations had come to an end and the evening's entertainment seemed to be over when the Countess suggested a reading. I cloaks in her eyes wondering what the guests would like to hear and I see my chance to impress her. Um, so something pious, let's be entertained. Spiritual medicine will give us a chance to learn. Let's be entertained. As the cloak drones on and on, I can tell, oh, oh dear. While I'm thinking of how to serve a situation, my guest suddenly chimes in and asks, May I humbly suggest we read Modern Philosophy instead? Ah. Okay. Oh dear. Right, my beloved wife. The servants have been... have all been sent away and our bed has been decorated with seashells. As the Countess enters our chambers, she smiles and joins me without any hesitation. With the help of hands, mouths, and limbs, we reaffirm our devotion we swore before God, perhaps in a more carnal fashion than intended. She is now my lover. And the name of a child. Uh, she wants to call my. Ch she wants to call him Alfred, and he's also intelligent. Yeah, he he can be Alfred the second. I, I like that. All right. With this money I've got, I'm going to get a claim on Devon. Are you going to die yet? <laughs> my character's not wanting my brother to die, but I'm wanting him to die. It would be great. So, Alfred really is a beast, stat-wise. He's awesome. Low County Control and Dorset. Oh, there we go. We've just inherited Wessex. My brother has died. Oh, brother. And we're not in war. We're not in any wars. So, yeah, Jorvik won their war. East Anglia are free. Ooh, interesting. Interesting. Usually, uh, when the Irish take that, I try to grab that as a first target. Uh, so, we need a new marshal. 
now a mighty petty king. Um, so you're currently my spy master. Can I get a good? Oh, I can get a very good spy master. So let's reassign you, and let's put you in charge. Um, we are going to your controlling Kent. What's my control? Ninety-five. Now let's switch you over to Dorset. Uh, we've got oh, quite a bit of money. We're going to keep that for... Right, we have got raiders coming in. Could raise all my armies. Right, we have got two more holdings. So what are my titles? Petty Kingdom of Wessex. Right, we've got three petty kingdoms under our control. Which is fine. Well, all the petty kingdoms are under our control directly. Um, I need to get rid of two holdings. The question is which holdings? Winchester and uh, the Isle of Wight. Now I shall grant them. Who do I want to grant them to? My son and heir, I think. Yeah. The Earldom of White and the Earldom of Hampshire. Yeah. Sounds like a fair way to go. And this army will arrive. And we shall raise our army here. When are you going to arrive? 30 days. There we go. Let's switch that to there. Can we? Nope, you're not going to raid us? Okay. Right, we're just going to let the money tick up a bit. Uh, once we get, then we'll probably go on a pilgrimage or something, maybe hold a feast. When we uh, get our claim. Right, uh, courtship or chivalric dominance? Chivalric dominance. But at the same time, let us... Uh, no, um... Romance. So you can become our soulmate. And you. I'm going to give you a guardianship. I shall educate you. My sister is married to the petty kingdom of Mercia. Okay. Romance declaration of love. So the time has come to let my feelings towards Petty Queen to be known. I want her to remember this day for the rest of her life. A love ballad, or write a love poem, or press her by winning a sparring match. Sing a love ballad. Romance. A declaration of love. I have found a classic Anglo-Saxon love ballad which suits the Queen perfectly. I, I, yeah, I know I'm trying not to pronounce the name. Because I will butcher it. Anyway, uh, I practice it over and over. Everything must be perfect. I find my beloved walking in the Waham what? Wareham Wareham Garden. I'm English. I should know this. Gardens, uh, surrounded by her friends, with my heart beating like a hammer, I kneel before her and sing. Her cheeks turn into a deep pomegranate red, but she does not interrupt me. Her companions all look pleased or jealous. Surely a good sign. You have a beautiful voice, my lord she says before she hurries off. Her friends are quick to follow. I stand up on shaking legs, watching them disappear between the hedges, my heart beating harder than ever. She will not resist my charms for long. Well of insight, I understand you are interested in deepening your grasp of warfare. The Earl smiles, inviting Lee, as he approaches me. I might be able to help you see the battlefield in new ways. The Earl is well known for his mastery of river crossings and landings. If there was one who could help me understand, it would be him. I want to learn. 
It becomes my mentor and will attempt to teach me the Forder skill, which, yeah, no river crossing penalties. Yeah, I want to learn. Romance, an embarrassing odor. Oh, I've scudded into invitation to a feast in Warham, Wareham, and I seek close to the uh, pity queen. Despite my determined attempts, I am failing to strike up a conversation. She's probably rendered speechless, speechless by the intensity of my affections. <laughs> Suddenly, the loudest fart I have ever heard erupts from our table. A few of the guests are looking at her. I must save her. Um... Yeah, it was me. Oh. It was me. I want my wife. It was me who did the fart. <laughs> oh dear. Alright. We are regaining our levies quickly. Oh, wait, no! Did they. It didn't. Oh, the claim didn't continue! Bugger. I've been sat here waiting for a claim all this time and it just never was going to happen, right? Let's just get the claim on Suffolk straight off. Um, romance, the grey one. The sweet lady, I sigh as I kneel before her. My only desire is to bring you honour and happiness. Pray tell me, how can I prove my love for you? The petty queen hesitates and her cheeks turn red. By God, I hope she's pleased and not embarrassed. Slay a wolf for me and bring me its pelt, then we may continue this conversation. Your wish is my command. And I returned empty handed. Wonderful. Bloody wonderful. Ah, it's just typical. Let's keep on playing. I can't believe I missed it. That wasn't continuing. That claim, that is annoying. Spouse up to the task. Some of my counsellors believe the job is theirs by right of blood or influence alone. How wrong they are. I expect the results here today. I am often disappointed. After a long day, I'm complaining to the Queen when she interrupts me. Let me do something about it, husband. A few lessons might sharpen the wits. Uh, so, study Marshall would be a nice one. Intrigue, he's not really an intriguing kind of guy. Stay with me instead. <laughs> Get pregnant. Again, please. Give <laughs> me more children. To marry off to strengthen the alliance of France. As my honeycomb and I walk through the uh, Wareham Gardens, I guess her at the greenery around us. For all their beauty, there isn't a single flower which rivals your own, my lady. There is one, she says, with a mischievous smile. A rare orchid from Prati, Pratihara, Pratihara, which is nearly impossible to cultivate. The monastery ruin in Whitney is the only place where it thrives in these regions. Surely the most pale compared to your fair... Yeah, no. Gonna keep on charming. Charming away. Who are you at war with? Defender against... Oh, okay. Oh, damn. You're helping them out. Well of insight. The Earl has shown me the ins and outs of river crossings and landings. My final test is a mock battle against him to show what I have learned. Prepare the ranks. Yeah. Let's go. Uh, perhaps there are a few more things for you to help. To, for you to learn. Uh, the Earl reaches down a hand to help me up from the mud. My troops put in a less than stellar showing. I must confess that he might be right. Yeah, no, show me again. I will learn. 
Right, the romance. When the petty queen's husband, petty queen Alfred, suggested a hunt, I did not hesitate to organise one. But I am Alfred. I would do anything for a mere glimpse of my beauty. I'm stalking through the underbrush, my page at my heel and my hound just ahead. It seems as if it has found a trail and suddenly my concentration is shattered by a woman's scream. I'm coming for you, my love. Perhaps it would be wiser to send the page. No, I'm coming for you, my love. What's happened? Within what must have been a minute, but felt like an hour, I reach a clearing. The queen is on the ground before me, dishevelled and weaponless. Opposite her, just about to strike, stands a huge bear. Oh, God. My arrow strikes true and the beast falls to the ground. For a moment, all the queen can do is stare, but then she stumbles towards me and throws herself into my arms. I need you, my lover, right here, right now. Yep. Right, the aesthetic peasantry. The peasants in the earldom of Oxfordshire are in a good mood. The harvest is bountiful, the roads are safe, and the village elders are telling nonsensical stories of cows producing honey laden milk and geese laying golden eggs. The peasants are praising me for the fortune and have sent a delegation carrying gifts. Russia to select other gifts and treating sent authorities to collect more oh god no. No no they need their surplus more than I do. Yeah that's what Alfred would do. Yeah. And on that note, I'm gonna end the first episode here I think. So yeah, uh a pretty slow episode we would have had a claim by now if I'd realised, but oh well, it is what it is. But yeah, by by next time, you know, sh try and grab East Anglia and Cornwall uh, in the next episode, hopefully. And then try to go after Mercia. But yeah, so anyway, thank you guys very much for watching, and I will hopefully see you in the next one. Goodbye for now.